check, check, mic check, 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 mic check. <laughs> Welcome to Podcast Envy. I'm your podcast boss, Andrea Clender. This is episode 93. It is a new year and it is time for a good old fashioned podcast boss rant. Are you ready? This year, I am creating SOPs. What are SOPs? Standard operating procedures. Boring, but I guess a necessary thing if you want to create a scalable business that grows that doesn't make your brain hurt every time you try to bring on a new team member or remember how you did the thing or build some consistency or whatever. But this is not an episode nor a rant about SOPs. This is a rant about content. And in fact, I'm going to call this rant, give me the content you promised. All right. Little known fact. I learn most of what I know about business from listening to podcasts, so much so that I bought the domain Podcast Grad School because, yep, I thought that maybe one day I could create a curriculum. As my client Sarah Buino likes to say, TM, 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 that's my idea. In any case, I learn everything that I know about business mostly from listening to podcasts. And this is one of the ways that I use podcast apps, particularly the Apple Podcasts app. And if I was an Android user, probably the Google Podcasts app as a search engine in order to find the information that I currently need to know in order to move forward in my business. So as I mentioned, I decided this year that I was going to create SOPs for the Creative Imposter Studios. And I even hired a brand new team member to the Creative Imposter Studios named Jesse, who is going to be helping me create those SOPs. Huzzah! Thank you so much, Jesse. Without you, it probably would never happen. I knew I needed to create them. I knew what they were, but I wasn't really sure how I was supposed to go about doing that. And so I went to the trusty Apple Podcasts app and typed in standard operating procedures, looking to my trusty podcast grad school for the answers. And to my delight, a whole list of options popped up for me. Let's look right now. Standard operating procedures. Firefighter training podcast. Nah. Small farm sustainability podcast. No. Walking with God. Probably not. Aviation podcast, the finer points. Nope. Weddings for real. There are a whole lot of super niche podcasts in this search. However, with a few tweaks to my keyword search, I did find some very promising episodes and added them to my queue. I am not going to list all of them here, and I am not going to call anyone out by name necessarily, but I will tell you that I was particularly excited about one because it was a show specifically created by podcasters for podcasters about creating standard operating procedures. Perfect. This episode was going to be about 44 minutes long, and I knew that I was going to get a ton of value from that. There was another one from a coach that I had never heard of that sounded super promising that I added. But then when I looked at it, I realized it was only 10 minutes long. And I was thinking, what am I going to learn about creating SOPs in 10 minutes? Well, it's only 10 minutes, so it can't hurt. So I was driving in my car and I started with the 44 minute podcast specific episode on creating SOPs. It was co-hosted by three people and I am not typically a fan of chatty co-hosted podcasts. But since I knew it was going to have the content that I wanted, that was fine. They started out by checking mic levels and adjusting mic levels and leaving their sound check in the episode. Then they spent about 10 minutes with one of the co-hosts trying to remember what they had talked about at a recent conference, but he couldn't quite remember what his talking points were. And so they were talking about talking about what his talking points were. And then eventually they rolled around into why you need standard operating procedures in your business. Great. Now we are getting to the topic. Nearly 15 minutes into this 44 minute episode, except they then continued to talk about why you need them and how they are going to make your life better. But as I skipped forward through content and skipped forward through content and skipped forward through content, they never actually said what goes into the SOPs or how you create them. 
listen, I don't need to spend a half an hour listening to why they are important. I obviously already know that I need them because I clicked on the episode about them. This is like when you get a nonfiction book about a specific topic and the author spends the first like three chapters telling you why you should read this book. When you're obviously already reading the book, you don't need to be sold on the book that you're already reading. This is one of my pet peeves. And this is what exactly was happening in this podcast. And it is one thing if I have to skip forward past your ads, but skipping forward through your content, that is quite another thing. And so yeah, by the end of the episode, I had learned virtually nothing about SOPs from this 44-minute episode. (sighs) Frustrating. Then when I got home, I thought, you know what? Let me check out this 10-minute episode right before I go to bed. Either it'll be over quick and I can get to my normal nighttime playlist, or it'll give me something to think about and I can start my search for how to create SOPs again fresh in the morning. And guess what happened? In 10 minutes, this person who I am going to call out by name, Kashira Moffat of Brand Your Power, told me absolutely everything I need to know about how to create my SOPs. In 10 minutes, the whole thing. She outlined the entire process, how to set it up, how to organize it, how to get started. I was in awe. I laid my head on the pillow that night and fell asleep knowing that my stress level had just decreased and that I was going to be able to nail this project starting tomorrow. So there it is. SOP is in 10 minutes on Brand Your Power with Kashira Moffat. Kashira, you are a genius. Thank you. I appreciate you. And my message to you, dear listener, is if you put something in the episode title of your podcast, do that. Talk about that. Deliver that content. Don't beat around the bush. Don't sell the person on why they need it for 30 minutes. Don't spend the first 10 to 15 minutes of your episode talking about nothing that has to do with the actual content of the episode. People are busy. People have tons of things to do with their time. People have tons of shows to listen to. Don't waste your listeners' time. Give me the content that you promised. And now it's time for our podcast angel segment. Podcast angels are those podcast service providers, companies, products, services that make your life as a podcaster oh so much better. They appreciate you when you sign up for their stuff. And they thank me when I am the matchmaker who brings the two of you together. And since we're talking all about SOPs and business structures and behind the scenes, today's podcast angel is my friend, Brie Seely. And if you are a successful business owner who is ready to take the next giant leap forward in your creative business growth, Brie is getting ready to start her Quantum Immersion 90-Day Accelerator Program to help you do just that. Brie is someone who delivers the content that she promises, and she only runs this program a few times per year. The next one is beginning very soon in February of 2022. But hey, if you're listening to this after that, no worries. You can still follow the link in the show notes anyway to find out when it'll be coming around again. Brie loves to work with service-based entrepreneurs who have been defining success on your own terms, who could use customized support and accountability to get to that next big milestone. I could give you a bunch more details about the program, but it'll be better if you just get it straight from Brie at brieseely.com forward slash creative. That's my custom link because if you haven't already figured it out, I'm an affiliate for Brie's program, which means that I agreed to help her spread the word in exchange for a financial thank you for the introduction when you sign up. Believe me, I would not be sharing this program with you if I didn't think that it was going to be a win for all of us. Plus, I secretly want to hear about your experience. So when you sign up, be sure to let me know. And I will book a session with you for 90 days after the program begins to debrief and possibly even feature you on a future episode of my show. If you want to learn more about Brie, it's been a while, but she was featured on Podcast Envy way back in 2018, talking about podcasting and imposter syndrome. And I was featured on her show, The Success Diaries, talking about my evolving relationship with the word success. I will link both of those episodes for you in the show notes, of course. 
The direct link again is briseely.com forward slash creative. And if you want to see links to some of my other favorite podcast angels and creative business resources, head over to thecreativeimposter.com forward slash faves. All right. So there you have it. The first Podcast Envy episode of 2022. It is so good to be back. I am so happy to have you here. I will link to Kashira's show, Brand Your Power, in the show notes, along with a link to my brand new super secret private five episode podcast, five questions you haven't asked about your podcast. All you have to do is follow the link in the show notes, drop your best email, and I will send you those five questions and some tips for how to answer them via the lovely sound of my voice on a private podcast feed powered by Hello Audio. Psst. You can learn more about private podcasting through Hello Audio by going to thecreativeimpostor.com forward slash faves. Podcast Envy is produced by your podcast boss, Andrea Klunder. That's me. The Podcast Envy theme music is by Valentin Sosnitsky, courtesy of the Free Sound Project at freesound.org, and our podcast angel music is by Benjamin Masterpolito, also on freesound.org, as Lemon Cream. All music is licensed under the Creative Commons. Our episodes are mixed by Edwin Ruiz, and hey, if you want your show to sound as good as ours, hire us. Put the magic audio mojo of the Creative Imposter Studios to work for you. Thanks so much for listening, and here's to making your podcast the envy of everyone else.